Hello, it's Nia Taylor here with you on MTV News, and I'm back because according to this guy, you guys seem to like me. Or not? Ex Shorty Shore last Vicky Patterson had a chat with us about leaving I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here's Extra Camp and her time on the show. I would never regret doing it. It was an amazing opportunity I, and I was incredibly fortunate to even be considered. I would have loved to have been given a second chance. Anyone who says otherwise is lying, but I respect the decision and I wish Scarlett and obviously Joe, who's gone back, the best of luck and I've no doubt they're going to make a fantastic show because they're all brilliant. I'm looking forward to sleeping more. <laughs> it's nice to be able to hand the reins over, I think. It's National Coming Out Day and as someone who's been through it herself, YouTuber Dodie Clark is on hand to share a few words of advice for anyone thinking about coming out to friends and family. Make sure you're safe, like you don't have to come out if you don't feel like you're able to. Maybe try and gauge their opinion if you're not sure on where they stand by like talking about LGBTQ plus things around them, see what their reaction is like. If it's positive, maybe talk to your friends about it as well. But yeah, good luck and stay safe. TV and film still seems to have a tendency to forget about bisexuality as an identity in its own right. So what can we all be doing better to avoid this bi erasure? Dodie's got some thoughts. I like the idea of not making it a statement, you know, not making it weird or like a kooky quirk, just being like, oh yeah, she's bi, whatever, he's bi, they're bi. I just think that's really nice to have a character who is that unapologetically and it be normal. But also have someone who isn't just gay or isn't just a lesbian, you know, have someone like me, because then a lot of people will be able to relate to that and not be so confused for so long. If you want support or advice on anything related to your sexuality, coming out or the LGBTQ plus community in general, head over to stonewall.org.uk. Three women recently got stuck at a South Korean airport due to having plastic surgery that left them unrecognisable to their passports. Over the Golden Week holiday, the women flew to South Korea to go under the knife but were refused access to return home as they looked completely different. A Chinese TV anchor posted a picture of the women in the departure lounge looking slightly confused as to why they weren't allowed to board the plane. They were later detained and questioned as airport security officers took one long look at each of the girls' passport photos and denied them access. Their swollen faces plus the bandages didn't seem to help either. It's still unclear as to whether the girls were able to make it back or whether South Korea is now their new home. Other photos have been circulating on social media site WeChat of four women in South Korea strolling the streets post plastic surgery wrapped in bandages. We don't know if it's the same women, but clearly this is a trend, one I won't be adopting. Has Kourtney Kardashian called Bella Thorne and Sophia Ritchie hookers after dating Scott Disick? In a newly released clip for the upcoming episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, the reality star was heard talking to mum Chris about Scott, saying he needs to get a life and leave me alone. All he does is try to make everybody else feel bad for him and try to make me look like the bad guy in this situation, when clearly I'm not. She then went on to say, I have to handle it when he's out photographed with a different hooker every day. Courtney Love, are you talking about these photos? They're actually models and actresses. But who are we to say? Bella has come out and said there's nothing between herself and Scott, they're just friends. Sophia, on the other hand, I mean, just take a look at the lip action here. That's more than just a friendly handshake, right? Plus, she's posted a picture of the pair on her Instagram looking all cute and cosy, so we know it's real. We have spent the last 10 years watching Courtney and Scott's on again, off again relationship, but this time, it seems as though it's over for good. That wraps up MTV News Today with me, Tania Taylor. There's more from me next week.